this video, we're going to talk about the recent drop in the spot price and what I think you should do. <laughs> Hey guys, Tennessee Silver Stacker here. If you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. It would mean a lot to me as I love making these videos. Also, head over to my Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter pages and follow me there for daily pictures and videos. All links are in the description below. So the silver spot price is down. What does this mean? What should you do as a stacker now that the spot price is down. Do you think it's gonna go any lower or do you think it's going to basically stay around where it is for now until it just skyrockets back up? For me, I really don't know. I don't know if I should try to be purchasing as much as I can right now or if I should wait a bit because I'm just a little worried that I might end up purchasing more right now and then it's going to go down, say, another dollar, which is a big jump. Silver not too long ago was what, $28 an ounce? And so with it dropping this much, that's a significant change. Since I keep track of all of my silver, like I, whenever I make a purchase, I tend to write down in my notebook, well really on the uh, notepad app, that I bought an X amount of silver and what I paid for it, what the spot price was. And I really do my best to keep track because that way I can know what my average is, my dollar cost average. And with that, it's a good idea because you can also track yourself where this spot price has been and how much money you've converted into these precious metals. You can see the potential profit, which I'm not really in this for profit if it goes up then that's great I get an extra I don't know an extra amount of money in the end and if it stays the same still great because I had saved all of my money and stored it in precious metals like gold and silver so, no matter what, it's a win-win. Now, if it drops like it has recently, now, that's a little bit concerning. But at the same time, it's not. It's not concerning. Because with the spot price of silver being, I believe it's 25 and change an ounce right now that just means you could purchase more you could get more for less and when you can do that wouldn't you think that's a great thing I look at that as the time to really purchase that is the time where it's basically at a discount. I know that eventually it will go slightly up 
if I was all that worried about it, then just like with uh, stocks, I've made so many mistakes with stocks where I had purchased something, purchased the stock, and it was rising, and then it started dipping, and I would sell it because I got scared. I just didn't, I didn't think. And then I kept on watching the stock and yeah, it went down, it went down, but then it started going way up and I missed my shot. That actually happened with uh, Dogecoin for me. I had purchased it when it was like, Point zero zero five, I believe, or zero zero four cents. And then I ended up getting scared. Not really scared. I, sh I shouldn't say that. I ended up getting, I guess, annoyed because I had it for such a long time. And then I ended up selling it. And I believe it was two weeks later. I believe it might have been actually sooner than that between a week and two weeks it jumped to uh, five cents six cents and I completely missed out on that I could have made such a great profit and then on the other hand when dogecoin went up to what was it like 74 cents or something like that. Um, I had purchased at, I think, six cents. And so I rode that wave all the way up and I made great profits. And then it started going down. It started tanking. And that I, and I ended up selling at, I think, 20 cents. So my profits were still great, but I just, I missed out. I should have sold when I had the chance. But what I'm getting at with this is if you are the type of stacker that is dollar cost averaging, then you're not really missing out on did I buy when it was too high? Did I buy when it was too low? Or, I mean, that's not really a, a problem buying when it's too low. But you're not putting, I guess, all of your eggs in one basket when you are purchasing at that time of purchase. If you're buying two, three, four, four ounces at a time, five ounces at a time, and the spot price goes up, and you're purchasing every two weeks, every month, then over time, the average is going, you, your, your average, you want it to be as close to spot as possible, right? And if you're doing that, then you have the best possibility for it to be closest to spot price. As that spot price rises, your average will get closer and closer to that spot price. And no matter what, you will be profiting. So that's that's one big thing to to think about with that. Now, right now, I do not have the cash fiat, whatever you want to call it. I don't have the, the currency to go out and purchase any silver right now as much as I really, really want to. I do not have the funds. So I'm not going to be doing that right now. I wish I could. That would be awesome. When I first got into stacking, the spot price was, I think, $22, $23 an ounce. And uh, 
I'd have to look in my notes again for for that. I know that it went down to as far as I think twenty two dollars and change an ounce. Um, I might be wrong. It, it might be twenty three dollars. So if I did have the extra money to go and purchase silver right now to convert it into that precious metal to stay away from the daily inflation that is hurting our fiat, then I would right now. I, I just can't. And that's another thing that you really have to be careful when you are purchasing your precious metals, when you're converting your money. Because one of the biggest things you do not want to do is overbuy. During a time like this, where the spot price of both gold and silver have gone down, people tend to overspend on their their purchases from say the online dealers or you go into your local coin shop. So I haven't come into that problem yet. I am really, really close to having to sell some of my silver so that I can play catch up. Um, but that wasn't from an overspending of silver. That was just things happening in life where we just need more money to play catch up. I'm doing my best not to have to sell any of my silver. With this spot price going down right now, right now is the time to buy. Just do your best not to overspend because that will hurt you in the long run. I'm hoping that this spot price goes down a little bit more or just maintains around here. If it could maintain around here, once I get some of my finances in order, then I could start making my purchases again. And again, I, I do the dollar cost average and I don't make large purchases at once. I think the most that I've made at once is an eight ounce purchase. Besides that, I, I try not to make big purchases because I don't wanna fall into that having to sell back my silver. So I hope that it stays around here for a little bit gives me time to purchase some more silver at a discounted price and I hope that all of you take this opportunity to purchase silver at a lower price right now I wish I was right there with you guys and I hope you guys enjoyed this video but that's gonna be it for this video make sure to like and subscribe so you can be notified when I post my weekly videos also, head over to my Instagram and Twitter pages and follow me for daily updates. I hope you had a good week and a great day. I'll see you next time.